So I was harvesting some lemons in our backyard when I got a notification on my device from one of our community members on Discord who said the one thing you never wanna to have to say when you collect Pokemon cards, the box was fake. What box? Who did this? Who did this? How much money? How much is money? he gonna get, a, he gonna refund? get a refund? We've, We've all, all been, been duped. Why, does, Why this does this keep happening? happening? I went inside to find out more, but then two wild dogs attacked me out of nowhere. And by attack, I mean love. Anyway, I had to focus because Jedi Master Squirtle needed some help. And here's what he said. My sister did something great for my channel, but it turns out she got shafted royally as the box was fake as a toupee. Fake. Aw oh, man, this makes it even worse. Like she was trying to do something nice, but it was a family member that got scammed, giving him a gift. Ugh. So I answered back. I'm sorry to hear that. Where did she get the box if you don't mind me asking? Then Mouski, another member, comes in and says, Oh man, that's that fake box from Walmart. From Walmart? Jedi goes on. My sister contacted the company for a full refund. The most they offered her was 50% refund. Walmart offered no assistance whatsoever. Wait, so she didn't even get all of her money back? She was scammed, probably embarrassed. That's not cool. And to make matters worse, he actually opened up these cards live on a stream. Lightning energy, look at that. A Caterpie EX. Wow, this is a lot worse than I thought. At least when I bought my fake Rolex on my eighth grade trip to Washington DC, it still told time. This isn't even real. It's a Caterpie EX. <laughs> It's a Charizard. I knew exactly what I had to do. I went to walmart.com, looked up Evolutions Pokemon, and yep, right there at the top, an Evolutions booster box for $169.99. Looking at the reviews, yep, this is very sus. And what's also sus is that the top review is a five-star review saying that the box is fake. Okay, well, I don't understand. Anyway, let's add it to cart. We're in. I want to see exactly what these cars are like and see if there's anything else we can find out. It was time for a Flynn investigation because my last name is Pat Flynn. Flynn investigation, like Flynn in. Okay, I know it's not that good, but anyway, I had a weird dream that night. Like, I remember seeing a bunch of tornadoes all around and they were ripping through my neighborhood. And then they all combined to form one giant tornado. And then right when it was about to suck me in, I woke up. I don't know what that was supposed to mean. All I knew was it's just not right. I got up the next morning, brushed my teeth, took a shower, changed my clothes and went into my office for an important meeting. Hey, thank you so much for taking the call with me today. No problem. Share a little bit about what you went through. I knew something was up as soon as I saw that it was shipped in just a, a bag. It was not in a hard cardboard box or anything. It was like cellophane, plasticky bag. And I'm like, that doesn't exactly seem right. I felt angry that someone would grift my sister. My sister is a very smart person and I felt bad for her because she's like, she wanted to do this great thing for me. And then my brain, I was like, how many other like aunts, uncles, moms, dads, grandparents, siblings, and they're giving them like fake cards. The only way they would give her a full refund is if she was going to send the whole entire box back unopened, no packs open, nothing. And she's like, I'm not doing that because I know what they're going to do. They're just going to rewrap it and they're just going to send it right back out again. Then about a week later, arriving a little early, we had the package from Walmart in our hands. First of all, this packaging in a little plastic bag, just like Jedi Master Squirtle said. First thing I noticed is the plastic wrap is really, really loose. Like you're using a pull-up diaper on a newborn baby kind of loose. Here is a real box and see here, tight fit. This diaper is not gonna leak. The Pokemon logo and the wrapping is different. And when we compare the sides and look at the packs inside, you can see here, these are all different colors. That's not how these packs are supposed to look. And at the top of the box, the perforations are off big time. You're supposed to be able to pop the top open and fold this over to make a display. On the real box, it's already mostly open for you. Here on the fake one, it's just not gonna open nicely. I can already tell, see? And look at these packs. They're horrendously fake to anyone who has opened Evolutions before. All right, let's open a pack just to see what's inside. A Diglett Reverse. This is a card in the set, but I can tell by the font that this is just off. And the card feels different. Behind we have, are you kidding me? Even when I open up a fake box, the Starmie, the troll of the channel shows up, of course. In the ultimate test, let's pull one of these cards out. This is Magmar. And I have a real Magmar here in a pile of Evolution cards. Real on the left, fake on the right. The font and the colors are off, the border is a lot thicker, but the real test is the rip test. When we rip the fake card, it's just gonna show white all the way through, see? When we rip the real card, Magmar, thank you for your sacrifice, you see that black line? That's an additional layer in the printing process that's there, and that means it's real. So yeah, we know this box is fake, and there he is, the Caterpie EX slash Charizard card, which is just ridiculous. First. Let's see what it's gonna take to get my money back. And I'm hoping all of it. So I log back into Walmart and get on the customer service chat to see if I can make this easy. The product I ordered was fake. I'd like a full refund for my purchase. Of course, it's not a real human being yet. It's just a bot. So I click a bunch of buttons until I get connected with 
Manuel. Manuel, my guy. He asks for the order number and he says it's sold by one of our sponsored marketplace sellers called Joybuy. And yes, I remember that. Apparently third party companies can use Walmart's website to sell products. So of course, Walmart passes me over to them. They're like, hey, it's not my problem. Go talk to Joybuy. Okay, so they said they'll reply within 48 hours and we'll go from there. <sighs> All right, now that wasn't as easy as I was hoping for. And now I got to wait for Joybuy to reach out to me, but I just wasn't happy with that. So I ask, can I reach out to Joybuy myself? They gave me a number and I'll call that in just a minute. I ask, what is Walmart gonna do to stop selling fake products like this? He says, I already noted this in my system to our higher team. What's a higher team? So they can be aware of this and we will do all in our hands to avoid this in our future. So please don't worry. We will investigate the situation and take action. Okay. Thanks. This is just one guy on the other side of the world who is saying all the right things, but will something actually be done about this? I don't know, but we just can't keep this thing private between myself and Manuel. We need to take this to the streets, or rather the tweets. Hey, Walmart, I ordered Pokemon cards from your website that turned out to be counterfeit. Have confirmed cases from several others too. What is Walmart doing to stop the sale of fake items like this? Asking for a lot of friends. And immediately, thanks to the power of Twitter, people started to react. I was able to get the attention of Walmart itself, or at least the social media person who happened to be on shift that day. Hi, Pat, thanks for bringing this to our attention. We take accounts like this seriously and would like to hear more from you. Can you send us your order number, contact information, product information, and any additional details so that we can look into this for you. I replied, thanks. I spoke to Walmart chat already who said they reached out to the seller, hopefully to get things resolved and get a refund. However, I'm also interested in what Walmart is doing to combat the seemingly large number of fake products that are being sold through the site. It was great, but just to give you some foreshadowing on how the rest of this conversation went, well, at least Walmart put me in direct contact with Joybuy, it seems. And surprisingly, Joybuy reached out via email. We are so sorry for the inconvenience. It would be highly appreciated if you could provide some clear pictures, videos of the item you received. Fair enough. I recorded a video and replied and was hoping to hear back from them soon. And of course, I didn't. Four days went by, four whole days, and I got nothing. So I decided to give them a call instead. Thank you for calling Joy by our work. This is our voicemail. I purchased fake Pokemon cards. And you should stop selling fake Pokemon cards. Okay, well, I didn't actually say that on the message, but I wanted to. Here's what I actually said. I would like a full refund and assurance that the fake Pokemon cards that you are selling on your store will be removed. Now, I'm getting really upset at this point and I just had to take my mind off of things, right? So I spent some time spinning around in my chair, hoping they call me back right away. I tried to be useful, did the dishes for a bit. I went on a run, almost fell trying to hold the camera. And after that, I sat on a bench to cool off a bit. And then I realized that the bench was wet. And now my butt was wet and I felt like I had to pee. So just nothing was going the way it was supposed to. The next day, about a week after my initial chat with Walmart, I reached back out to them on chat. This time I connected with Leica. So I get Leica up to date and they say, sorry, I'll escalate this to our back office team to process the refund and I'll get an email within 24 hours. Okay. It seems as if they're gonna be processing the refund finally. Is there anything else I can help you with? Now at this point, after all of this, I said, how might I be compensated for the lost hours dealing with this? What might you be able to do for me? Then Leica replies, on top of this, I insist on issuing you a $10 promo code to make it up for your experience and you can use it on your next purchase. So I just type, thank you. And literally in an instant, she leaves. She ends the conversation abruptly right then and there. And what was the promo code? Well, spoiler alert, it never came. And what about the refund? Well, keep watching, this gets even better. So I go to joybuy.com and there's a message here in the middle. If there's anything we can assist with, please do not hesitate to email us at contact at jd.com. JD, what's JD? Up under here, under the Joybuy logo, it even says affiliate to jd.com. Let's look up jd.com. Authentic products delivered today, how ironic. China's largest online retailers. Pokemon products from China are usually a huge red flag for fake cards. So that explains that. And check this out. On JD's website, in a press release from 2017, Walmart and JD expand strategic cooperation. On Walmart's website, Walmart and JD.com announce strategic alliance. In 2018, Walmart and JD tightened their alliance with a $500 million investment. Walmart then purchased a 5% stake in JD.com for $1.5 billion. That's stake has since risen to 12%. Joybuy isn't a random third-party company selling on Walmart's marketplace. Joybuy, AKA JD, is Walmart's partner and they're selling fake cards. So is Walmart actually gonna cut off their own company that they have stake in? Probably not. Does that mean that Walmart is actually selling illegal counterfeit Pokemon cards? Do they know this is even happening? 
There's a lot more to dig in here for sure. And who knows, maybe Walmart will catch wind of this and maybe at least put some rules in for authentication of products like Pokemon cards, similar to what eBay recently did. The problem here is that beyond Joy Buy, a lot of companies flocked over to sell on Walmart after getting banned on Amazon. This article on Bloomberg published in early 2022 shares that Amazon kicked tens of thousands of Chinese merchants off their platform and many are setting up shop on the e-commerce arm of Walmart Inc. The only difference is that Walmart so far doesn't act as strictly as Amazon to crack down on the practice. Walmart, I know you're trying to compete with Amazon, but the environment that you created for us, we're getting scammed. It's not good. You're not protecting your buyers. If you wanna compete with Amazon, protect us. Your mission statement literally is to save people money so they can live better. How is all this supporting your mission? I invite you to a conversation so we could chat about this from a buyer's perspective. My information is down below in the description if you wanna get in contact with me. My mission right now, my immediate mission is to just maybe hopefully get some money back because so far I've been striking out. The chat has not been helpful, false promises. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to literally call Walmart and just try to get on the phone with a human being so maybe that'll help. If you're calling about your walmart.com order. And of course, it's a bot. Your estimated wait time is approximately one minute. Okay, now it seems like I'm gonna to talk to a human being, which is exactly what I want. Let's see who we got. Thank you for calling walmart.com. My name is Janine. How may I help you? Hi, Janine. So I give her my order number and then my name just to confirm. I can help you for that. Thank you. One moment. At this point, we're five minutes into the call and I'm just hoping that Janine comes back. They're waiting for you to call Joy Bye. Okay, so you, you won't be processing the refund. They will have to do it? Yes, sir. All right, another number to call. I write it down and just, this is not going well. I tell her that I've already done this and I got no answer. And then she tells me she's gonna call Joy by herself. Okay, so we're 12 minutes and 45 seconds into the call so far. And then finally, a few minutes later, Janine comes back. Uh, hello, sir. Hi, how'd you do? After 30 minutes on the call, finally it happened. Janine became my hero. You're the first person I spoke to who's actually been really helpful, so thank you. I will do it now for you. And yep, I checked my inbox soon after and I got the email that the refund was processed and I even saw my funds back into my account. But is anything gonna change with Walmart or Joy Buy? I don't know, but what I do know is... Infiltrate the dealers, find the supplier. And I think I may have found the supplier. Let's see what happens from here. Subscribe so you don't miss it.